Hi, this is Kate from the Dance Buzz, and today I'll be showing you how to use the program GarageBand to cut and fade a piece of music to fit your choreography. Once you have GarageBand open, select a new project. Go ahead and name your project, usually the song title. And when your project opens, GarageBand defaults to a grand piano, which we won't be using, so you can close this little keyboard window. Next, we're going to bring in our music track from iTunes. Click the media button on the bottom right to show your iTunes library. Search for your song by typing the name or artist in the box below. Once you have your song, drag and drop it onto the left panel and it will show up below the piano track. Before I start editing, I like to clean up my window. We won't be using the piano track, so we can delete it by clicking on it and going to Track, Delete Track. Close the iTunes panel by clicking the media button again, turn off the metronome noises, and change the LCD display from measures to minutes and seconds, which is more useful to us. We also need to see the volume control for the track, which you drop down by clicking this little arrow on the track. You'll see a blue line below your track, that's your volume. The orange rectangle is your song. Scroll horizontally until you reach the section you'd like to fade. For this song, we're going to edit to around 1 minute and 15 seconds. This is where I want my song to end. Pause the playback by hitting the spacebar or clicking the play button. Now we need to delete the rest of the song since we won't be needing it. Make sure the track is selected, then click Edit, Split, or Command T. You have split the song into two pieces. Click on the part of the song that you don't want and press delete. Here's what our song sounds like so far. Let's fix that by adding the fade. Click on the volume line where you want your fade to start. You'll see a little dot. Click on the volume line where you want your fade to end and drag it down to create the fade. Let's check it out. To change how long the fade is, move the second dot closer or further from the first dot. Let's make the fade go faster now. To. to finish, save your project and then export your new track to iTunes. Select Share, Send Song to iTunes. Click Share again and your edited song will start to export and then it will start playing in iTunes when it's all done. Congratulations, you're all done. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out more dance stuff at thedancebuzz.com.